This video describes LSEG, an ellipse segmentation framework for robust gaze tracking. Eye tracking is rapidly emerging as an integral component of AR and VR solutions. Some applications include foveated rendering, where virtual content located in the peripheral visual field is rendered with lower spatial detail, reducing computational overheads. Eye tracking aids us in recognizing activities from AR egocentric head mounted systems. Eye tracking also drives very focal displays, which aids in mitigating the versions accommodation conflict for AR and VR applications. Recent approaches towards gaze estimation involves two near infrared eye cameras which capture eye movements. Computer vision and machine learning algorithms segment the pupil or iris regions to generate an ellipse fit. These ellipse fits are used to estimate the pose of an approximate 3D eyeball model. Vectors originating at the eyeball center are extended through the 3D pupil center to generate a gaze estimate. LSEG attempts to improve segmentation performance of pupil and iris regions. Recent approaches design convolutional neural networks to segment eye images into, into its constituent visible parts, the pupil, iris, sclera, and skin, which is also referred to as background. In this work, we propose modifying this four-class part segmentation paradigm to segment direct elliptical structures. We show that in doing so, there are numerous benefits towards producing accurate ellipses, which in turn benefits gaze estimation. LSEC proposes leveraging encoder-decoder convolutional neural network architectures. The encoder takes an eye image as an input and passes it through a series of convolutional layers while downsampling its spatial extent. The output of the encoder is a latent representation of the image, which is passed through a regression module to predict pupil and iris ellipse parameters. The latent representation is then passed on to the decoder module, which progressively increases its spatial extent while performing various convolutional operations. The decoder predicts the LSEC proposed three-class output. For gaze estimation, there are two outputs that we can leverage from this paradigm. A. We can fit pupil and iris ellipses to the edge pixels. Or B. We can directly extract ellipses from the network by circumventing the ellipse fitting operation. For this option, LSEC proposes leveraging the center of mass of the predicted segmentation maps to get center measurements while extracting axes and orientation information from the regression module. Segmented eye paths are sensitive to occlusions. Tasking a neural network to predict elliptical shapes over occluding artifacts increases the number of support pixels to generate viable ellipse fits. This effect is particularly pronounced for datasets which exhibit larger proportions of occlusion. We observe improvements in the center estimates when fitting ellipses on the LSEG segmentation outputs as opposed to eye part segmentation. The center of any convex shape can be described as a weighted summation of its spatial extent. LSEG leverages this observation to supervise the center of mass of output probability maps with the ground truth ellipse center. The inclusion of the center of mass loss further improves pupil and iris center detection performance over ellipse fitting on the segmentation outputs. To illustrate this improvement, we report the number of center estimates predicted within a 2 pixel error margin. Note that this improvement is observed across all three datasets. Our upcoming manuscript highlights this performance advantage across a wide range of pixel intensity pixel thresholds. 
The center of mass loss further conditions the network output to be more confident around ellipse centers. In the figure displayed, we see the output response across a horizontal line scan. Note the increased separability induced by LSEG. To summarize, LSEG proposes segmenting elliptical structures as opposed to eye parts. We show that this formulation is robust to occlusions. LSEG also generates improved ellipse estimates. This work also utilizes a center of mass loss function. This function further improves pupil and iris center estimates. It also improves segmentation performance by conditioning the output probability map. This in turn improves ellipse axes and orientation estimates. For a complete list of benefits from the LSEC protocol, please refer to our paper. Here are some example outputs from LSEC. Note that the ground truth ellipses are marked as a solid white outline. Thank you for your time and interest in our work.